Just before 10 this morning, police took down the crime tape of a massive scene in Parkway Village, where a deadly officer-involved shooting took place. Memphis police say just before midnight, officers tried to pull over a white Infinity, the one you see there on that tow truck. It was near American Way in Goodland. Officers say it took off losing control, winding up in a park. This man, too scared to show his face, lives nearby and woke up to the chaos. Car said no, the door was open. I got up. The TBI is now investigating and told us at least three people got out of the car when it went into the grassy field. They took off running. Officers chased one of them down Cochise. The TBI says the two exchanged gunfire, killing the man, and the officer wasn't injured. <laughs> Across town in Hickory Hill, you can see crime tape also lingers at Kirby and Rains. Police say around 1 a.m. they found a man and a female juvenile shot to death. Police haven't said what led up to the violence, just that the shooter or shooters got away in a dark colored sedan. MPD says there were at least two more shootings overnight. On Twitter, they stated one man was shot in Sharp in Cherokee around 2.30 a.m. and was taken to the hospital in critical condition. And another man was also shot in Ethel and Orange Mound around 1230. He was also taken to the hospital in critical condition. It's ridiculous. This crime is this shooting and killing for no reason. Both on and off camera, far too many who live near these crime scenes told us they're fed up with the violence. Waking up to hear about another life cut short. Jessica Gartler, WREG News Channel 3.